Canada. The country you think about so little, that's it, end of sentence. <laughs> Canada. It, it's basically five hockey rinks surrounded by bears. <laughs> Canada. Uh, the country with a thriving economy based on making jean jackets for geese and... <laughs> and, of course, their booming sexy Ryan manufacturing industry. Mexico. Uh, or, as you may know it, spicy Canada. <laughs> Mexico. Uh, the only place you can get a truly authentic volcano quesarito. <laughs> In Cuba. Home to the world's least fun Castro district. Cuba, or as JFK used to pronounce it, Booty Island. Guatemala, a country you think about so little, we're just going to leave up a map of Central America and make you look up which one it is. <laughs> Crack a book, I'm not here to spoon feed you what's Guatemala. Venezuela, uh, a country you think about so little, you didn't even realize that's not Venezuela. <laughs> this is Venezuela. Actually, that's not Venezuela either. This is Venezuela. Except it isn't, because Venezuela was the first one all along. But the fact you didn't notice is the point. To Brazil, where even the Amazon rainforest looks like it's gotten a wax. <laughs> Life isn't just a fairy tale land of alpacas and pan flutes, Peru. <laughs> At some point, you've got to pull your weight. And don't give me the whole, oh, but John, our population is the size of Texas, and the war on terror is a hopeless geopolitical paradox. That's bullshit, Peru! <laughs> Europe. You know, that thing Belgium is in. Oh, for fuck's sake, Norway, how can you pull out? The only reason we have Winter Olympics is so you freakish snow people can pick up your stupid cross-country skiing medals. Denmark, uh, also known as Wrong Norway, <laughs> different Sweden, and that's actually not Finland. <laughs> Scotland. Uh, Americans know it as the birthplace of Shrek and... <laughs> and that accent you think you can do, but actually can't. United Kingdom, where I am fondly known as... Who? <laughs> the UK, Earth's least magic kingdom. <laughs> the UK, uh, the only two letters that promise more iciness and bad food than these two. <laughs> United Kingdom, Europe's America. <laughs> United Kingdom, the slightly damp corpse of the British Empire. <laughs> it's Ireland, uh, a country with a slightly higher Irish population than the Dropkick Murphys. <laughs> Ireland, Europe's Boston. Home of... <laughs> home of more red hair than Deborah Messing's shower drain. Well, Germany. A country whose idea of a bedtime story is two children being left to die in the forest before being nearly cooked and eaten and then murdering an old woman. Sleep well. Hungary. Yes, Hungary. The fantasy home for every little girl who's young enough to love castles but not quite old enough to be aware of neo-fascist political parties. Greece, a country of and in ruins. To Greece, uh, the most recent Greek tragedy. Ukraine, uh, a nation that, like the human appendix and your grandma Mimi, you only really hear about if something's gone horribly wrong. <laughs> Ukraine, currently Russia's fastest growing import. <laughs> Russia, a country that will continue to be funny until it suddenly isn't. <laughs> Russia, the prequel and sequel to the Soviet Union. Russia, the future home of 45 million Ukrainians. Russia, Earth's Death Star. <laughs> Chechnya, a sentence uttered almost as infrequently as, man, I hope I get seated next to a baby. <laughs> Azerbaijan, a, a country you think about so little you didn't even realize that not only is that not Azerbaijan, it's not even a landmass, it's the Caspian Sea. <laughs> this is Azerbaijan. To Nigeria, uh, the country whose prince is going to be sending you some of that money he owes any day now. <laughs> Turkey, the country named after the fourth best sandwich and the third best burger. <laughs> Turkey, the, the country that's always much bigger than you think it is. Syria, until 2011, a pretty nice name for a baby girl. <laughs> Justin Bieber's penis. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I would never do that to you. We begin with Syria. <laughs> much better. The less contentious spot on the globe, Israel. <laughs> Israel, drama-wise, the opposite of Canada. Iran. Not just the setting for 2013 Best Picture winner Argo, also a country. <laughs> Yemen. Home to 26 million Yemeni people and 27 million American drones. <laughs> India. And honestly, the last time a British person said that, we didn't leave for about 200 years. <laughs> India, or as we once called it, Britain's spice rack. <laughs> China. Manufacturers of everything except that piece of crap clay jar you got for Mother's Day. <laughs> China. A 3.7 million square mile panda fuck pad. <laughs> North Korea. Earth's Florida. <laughs> North Korea. Named Best Korea for 70 years running by North Korea magazine. 
Japan, a nation so vibrant, not even Sofia Coppola and the band Air could make it boring. <laughs> Japan, Earth's pervert uncle. <laughs> Australia, not just the country where Russell Crowe lives, but very much the Russell Crowe of countries. <laughs> New Zealand, the country that, like a bad edible arrangement, is full of fucking Kiwis. <laughs> New Zealand, uh, the country whose major form of transportation is bungee jumping. <laughs> New Zealand this week, Hobbit Australia. <laughs> New Zealand, Australia's cheer pet. New Zealand, Australia's Australia.